first fight I will cover is this is the main card by the way. Just doing the main card. First fight I would talk about is Aljamain versus TJ. He is a pretty simple pick. Not discounting TJ, but this octagon rest plays a factor because he hasn't bought in almost three and a half years, three years, something like that. I just think that Aljamain will wrestle him for about a good two and a half, three rounds. So that's my first prediction in that fight. And then rolling over to the next fight would be the women's fight between Caitlin and her opponent. I don't want to say her name wrong. That's why I said that. She's a very good boxer in that division. So I got her winning by TKO in the second round in that fight. And like I said, with the other fight between Al Jermaine and TJ, the main factor in that one is Octagon Russ. And Al Jermaine's been so dominant lately, especially what he did to Yon. So I'm just going to give him the edge in that fight. And then rolling over next to the Gamera and Vanille fight. This one is one of the most interesting ones on the card to me. Um, It's actually very hard to pick this one. As you either know a lot about Game Rod or you don't. I'm kind of in the camp where I really need to learn more about him as a fighter and what he brings to the game. But um, I'm picking Benil in this fight. Hopefully he can keep the win streak going. I think he's the more well-rounded fighter. Whereas Game Rod is more of a wrestler. Wrestler base still has very good skills in other areas. But yeah, I think Benil can beat him. Just by the edge. So I'm going to give that to Benil by unanimous decision. And rolling over to Sugar Sean and Piotr Jan. Everybody's saying Jan in this fight. I will go with Sugar Sean by a upset. And... A split decision. I'm going to go with that. Three rounds. I think Sugar Sean has a very good chance. Five rounds. I would pick Piotr Jan. No question. But. Yeah. I'm going to go Sugar Sean on this one. Maybe. Not the best pick. But I don't want to go with what everybody else is saying. And then finally rolling into the main event. I will go with. The one and only Charles Oliveira. By. Third round knockout on the Islam I'm predicting like towards the end of the third round maybe Charles gets stunned again Islam goes for a finish on the ground one thing leads to another they get back up and Islam gets caught with a flush hook but I mean that might be a crazy prediction that you know it's hard to come to fruition but yeah those are my predictions just short and to the point and yeah that's about it man